नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल क्यूबेट एजुकेशन सर्विसेस आई एम प्राणेश आई एम द फाउंडर ऑफ क्यूबेट एजुकेशन सर्विसेस एंड एन आई आई एस सी बैंगलोर अलमस इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी आर वी आर सॉल्विंग द 2018 थाउजेंड एटीन फिजिक्स सेक्शन फ्रॉम आई सर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी विल बी सॉल्विंग क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी फोर विच इज़ बेस्ड ऑन मैग्नेटिक फील्ड्स ड्यू टू इलेक्ट्रिक करंट A current of 45 amperes is passing through an infinitely long wire, which lies along the axis of an infinitely long solenoid of radius 1 cm. The magnetic field produced by the solenoid in the direction of the current in the wire is 4 milli tesla. What is the approximate magnitude of the resultant magnetic field at a point 3 mm radially away from the solenoid axis? Use mu naught as 4 pi into 10 raised to negative 7 tesla meter per ampere. Options are 5 milli tesla, 1 milli tesla, 7 milli tesla, and 3 milli tesla. So uh, in this case, there are two things that are going to produce the magnetic field. Okay, so the net magnetic field at any point there will be the magnetic field due to the current carrying wire and the magnetic field due to solenoid. let us first find out the field due to wire right so suppose this is our solenoid well it is infinitely long so let us just show some part of it and they are saying that uh, the wire lies along the axis of the solenoid so let's say this is the wire okay say so this is the wire and through this wire there is a current i of value 45 ampere okay now the solenoid radius is 1 cm so this to this is 1 cm right they are saying magnetic field produced by the solenoid in the direction of the wire of the current in the wire is 4 mm tesla so we already know that uh, b solenoid b bar solenoid is uh, 4 mm tesla so let us call it 4 i cap let's say this is i cap okay this direction is i cap okay now what do we want we want to determine the approximate magnitude of the resultant magnetic field at a point 3 mm radially away from the solenoid axis so let's say that point is located somewhere here okay and this distance this and the axis that distance is Uh, 3 mm correct so we have to now use the ampere circuit law to determine the magnetic field at this particular point or you can directly use the formula the formula is mu not i by 2 pi r where r is the uh, distance a distance of what distance of the point where you want to determine the magnetic field from the current carrying straight infinitely long conductor now because mu naught is 4 pi into 10 raised to negative 7 here mu naught upon 2 pi will be 2 times 10 raised to negative 7 into current is 45 amperes what about radius r don't take 1 cm okay that is the solenoid radius coil radius uh, this one 3 mm so 3 into 10 raised to negative 3 okay r2 uh, into 45 90 90 upon 3 30 and into 10 raised to negative 4 or 3 times 10 raised to negative 3 or 3 milli tesla now we would like to determine its direction also okay so this is just the magnitude of the magnetic field of the wire okay now to calculate the direction what we can do is we can make use of right hand rule okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my right hand curl the fingers and point the thumb from left to right because that is where the direction of the current through the wires okay and if you imagine this you can see the fingers pointing towards you right you can see the fingers pointing towards you in other words the magnetic field due to wire at the point that they have given us is actually uh, perpendicular to the plane of the screen right so if you uh, call that particular direction as j cap okay that particular direction as j cap then what will be the magnetic field due to wire 
magnetic field due to wire will be 3 uh, j cap right of course uh, both the uh, both the units are milli tesla so let's not worry too much about that okay now what do they want they want us to determine the approximate magnitude of the resultant magnetic field okay approximate magnitude of the resultant magnetic field now how to determine that to determine the magnitude of the resultant magnetic field we simply are required to find the magnitude of 4 j uh, 4 i cap due to solenoid plus 3 j cap and it goes without saying that the magnitude is going to be 5 milli tesla right the magnitude is going to be 5 milli tesla okay so the answer is a okay one last thing why are they saying approximate magnitude why not exact magnitude well it is under the assumption that the mag uh, the magnetic field produced by the solenoid anywhere in the interior of the solenoid is uniform what they have given us here as 4 milli tesla is just the magnetic field produced by the solenoid in the direction of the current in the wire right so we know that it is almost uniform but not precisely uniform okay so i think in my opinion that is actually the reason why they said approximate magnitude of the resultant magnetic field okay so that was question number 54 in our next video we will solve the 55th question